Alan Hamill and Suzanne Somers are a couple who have not only made a mark in the entertainment industry, but have also created an enduring love story that has captured the hearts of many. Before Suzanne's recent passing, the couple spent many, many years living in Palm Springs, an area they adored. Among their properties, they had a long time spot they recently had sold for $8.5 million. Final decision to sell came after Suzanne took a fall down the stairs, considering there were a hundred stairs here and she had to undergo neck surgery. Alan and Suzanne's former Palm Springs home was modeled after Lusteau de Beaumanier in Provence, France, and featured glass walls that opened to scenic views of the Mount San Jacinto Desert. There are five buildings in the property, the main house, and four villas. It offered a total of seven beds and ten baths. Some highlights included a 32-person dining room, a separate two-room kitchen, a 2,000-bottle wine cellar, his and hers closets, a safe room, and a stone guest house designed in the 1920s by Albert Frey. Alan Hamill and Suzanne Somers' relationship is a testament to the power of love, resilience, and ability to overcome life's challenges together. Alan Hamill, born on June 30th, 1936, is a Canadian TV personality, producer, and entertainer. Suzanne Somers, born on October 16, 1946, was an American actress, author, businesswoman, and more. These two individuals, despite their different backgrounds and nationalities, found themselves drawn to each other in a way that transcended borders and any differences they had in their lives. The pair's paths first crossed in the late 1960s when they met on the set of the TV game show Anniversary Game. Alan was the host of the show and Suzanne was one of the contestants. Little did they know that this chance meeting would lay the foundation for a lifelong partnership. However, before Alan Hamill and Suzanne Somers became the power couple they're known as today, their relationship was marked by a tumultuous affair that tested their commitment to each other and eventually strengthened their love. When Alan and Suzanne crossed paths, it was during a particularly vulnerable period in their lives. Alan was already married and Suzanne, she was also in a troubled marriage. Their connection though was instant and undeniable, leading to a passionate and secret affair. This relationship wasn't without its challenges and difficulties, and you might have not even known that about the couple. The pressure of hiding their affair from the public and dealing with their respective marriages put a significant strain on both Alan and Suzanne. They were in a situation where societal norms and personal responsibilities clashed with their deep emotional connection. The turning point in their relationship came when they made the difficult decision to end their respective marriages. This marked a critical step in their journey towards building a life together, but it wasn't without its share of criticism and judgment from the public and media. The couple faced scrutiny and negative press, but they remained committed to each other and their relationship. After divorcing their previous spouses, Alan and Suzanne made the brave choice to openly embrace their love. Their relationship transitioned from being this secretive affair to a public and enduring partnership. This period of their lives was characterized by resilience as they fought through adversity to be together. Together. Their love story continued to evolve as they ventured into the entertainment industry together. Alan and Suzanne's shared passion for their work and mutual support became pillars of their relationship, helping them weather the challenges that came their way. Alan and Suzanne's romantic relationship blossomed and they decided to take the plunge into marriage in 1977. Suzanne was already a successful actress at this time, having gained fame for her role as Chrissy Snow in the popular sitcom Three's Company. Alan, on the other hand, was known for his work as a TV host and producer. Their combined talents and shared vision led to a series of successful TV projects. One of the most notable was the Suzanne Somers Show, which ran from 1980 to 1981. The show not only showcased Suzanne's charisma and talent, but also demonstrated the chemistry between the couple, which endeared them to their audiences. Over the years, Alan and Suzanne weathered a ton of storms. One of the most significant challenges they faced was Suzanne's breast cancer diagnosis back in 2000. She bravely fought the disease and with Alan's support emerged as an advocate for health and wellness. Together, they co-authored several books on health and wellness too. Their journey through Suzanne's illness showcased their deep bond and the strength of their love. Alan was a pillar of support throughout her treatment and recovery and together they used their experience to raise awareness about alternative cancer treatments. Beyond their professional collaborations and 
shared commitment to health advocacy, Alan and Suzanne's relationship has thrived due to their shared values, a strong sense of family, and their ability to adapt to life's challenges. They had managed to keep their love alive and growing, proving that love can indeed conquer all. Well, not only did Alan and Suzanne share a beautiful relationship, they also shared some beautiful homes. In 2021, Suzanne and Alan finally found a buyer for their longtime compound in Palm Springs. They listed it for $8.5 million in January that year after attempting to sell it a few times before, once in 2013 and a few years even before that too. Suzanne and Alan's former Village Lake compound was set on a hillside in the Mesa neighborhood, just south of downtown Palm Springs, California. This desert city is known for its hot springs, luxe hotels, golf courses, and spas. Suzanne and Alan purchased the legendary compound decades ago after they tied the knot as an escape from their main home in Venice, California. They happily lived here for over 40 years. Spanning 28 acres, the beautiful property is unique layout with four individual villas and a main house. The mansion spans 8,826 square feet of space with seven bedrooms, nine full baths, and two half baths. The spread is accessed by a private funicular that carries you up the hillside from the parking spaces below the main house, and the insides are decorated both lavish and eccentric. Suzanne had a keen eye for interior design, and she had personally decorated many parts of this house. The result was a blend of vibrant colors, opulent furnishings, and artistic touches. Every room in the house told a story, reflecting the couple's passion for art, style, and life in the desert. The design inside the living spaces suit the desert backdrop with many stucco walls and stone floors underfoot. There were a mix of rustic and luxury accents like wood cabinets in the main house's spacious kitchen, along with top grade stainless appliances. The chef's kitchen further at a butler's pantry. The formal dining room here boasted high ceilings, the opulent chandelier, as well as some glamorous and vintage furnishings, as well as room for 30 two guests. This was suitable considering the couple often hosted gathering and events with their friends and family here. There was a main living room with wood beam ceilings and a wood burning fireplace, while elsewhere a sprawling wet bar. The main villa also contained Alan and Suzanne's one-time master suite, city view ensuite bath, and two offices. There's also a dramatic dressing room with sparkling chandelier overhead, his and hers walk-in closets, and a safe room. Bonuses inside this structure include a 2,000 bottle wine cellar with tasting room, Room, multiple private terraces, and an outdoor shower. One of the multiple guest villas is called Rock House, which is a stone-built structure set in the Rocky Mountain that rises steeply behind their property, designed by legendary architect Albert Frey. The Rock House reportedly features a two-room guest suite with glass walls, a fireplace, hand-carved Balinese garden doors, a clawfoot tub, rock shower, and peaceful meditation garden. Aside from the other guest villas, the property has a tented pavilion that overlooks the heated swimming pool and spa and a waterfall fed pond. Among the many terraces to unwind and entertain, Suzanne's property even featured an amphitheater card from rock walls. Palm Springs home reflected Alan and Suzanne's passion for wellness with a state-of-the-art home gym, yoga studio, and wellness-focused amenities. After taking a peek at the most well-known estate of Alan Hamill and Suzanne Summers, as well as diving into their inspiring love story, that'll wrap up today's video. Before we go, answer this question for me. If your spouse wasn't with you any longer, could you stay living in the same neighborhood or home? Or would you prefer a fresh start? Let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications so you never miss a video. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in another one. Bye!